In the last week, we've got to know 15 happy, beautiful, confident, playful people. But it will all change tonight. Because tonight, it's live nominations. Housemates, in the Big Brother house, the only power any of you have is the power to nominate. Your nominations do not just influence who leaves the house. They help determine how long you stay. When you come to nominate, come prepared to be brutally honest. You can nominate based on personality for the housemate you don't like and don't want to live with. You can nominate under the radar for the housemate you consider is not being themselves to avoid attention. <clears throat> you can nominate strategically for the housemate you think poses the greatest threat to you winning Big Brother. But you must be able to justify each nomination. This year, how you nominate is changing. You will have exactly two minutes for both nominations. A penalty will apply if you do not nominate in time or if you do not nominate clearly. For each substandard nom nomination, Big Brother will add one nomination point to your tally. This could mean the difference between facing or escaping eviction. Saying you haven't made a connection with a certain housemate or like them the least will not be accepted. If you fail to take your nomination seriously, Big Brother will revoke your power to nominate and put you up for eviction. Housemates, in Big Brother the power to nominate is everything. All housemates to the lounge immediately. Oh my God. first live nomination show for 2006. Coming to you from Dreamworld on the Gold Coast, please welcome your host, Gretel Galeen. Welcome, fabulous live audience, and welcome everybody at home to Big Brother Live nominations. The first time for 2006, and the first nominations ever to not only give you the power to vote to evict, but also to save your favourite housemate. Now it is just eight days since these housemates were catapulted into Big Brother's House of Secrets, and there has been so much action, it's been like watching the bold and the beautiful on Fast Forward. In something like this, there's always some interesting twist. Unless I'm clearly mistaken, <laughs> I wouldn't say there's anything that you're hiding. In the Big Brother house, things are not always as they seem. The whole um, boob job thing, Karen came up to me and said, I have a boob job. It was like the same time that I said I got a boob job. And we're like, oh, what a coincidence. You should have a hat on. Mm. You know, it's <gasps> what a mum thing to say. That I was know. awesome. You that both should me of my mum right then. <laughs> While Karen and Crystal succeeded in keeping their relationship a secret, some of the housemates have made speculations about other connections in the house. There was just one thing that I've kind of picked up on, just between Mikey and Elise. Just something she mentioned that gives me suspicions that maybe they are a couple. It has to be a little secret. Well, and this could very well be it. Maybe mm. it's a total twist around it. Mm. They they don't know each other, but they're pretending, pretending they do. So we think they do, but they actually they don't. don't. Yeah. 
And while super sleuth Claire undertook her own investigation, Big Brother gave a mission to Michael. Big Brother wants an insider within the house. The insider's role is to live among the housemates, but to work against them. Did anyone see what happened in my photos? Meanwhile, David was hiding a different kind of secret from his fellow housemates. I'm the token farmer and the token gay guy. <gasps> I feel really tricked and I just feel stupid. But then Camilla's tears turned to poison as Tilly cut her grass. It's no big deal and I don't have any romantic interest in David. You'd tell me the truth, wouldn't you? Yes, conflict was on the rise in the house. I don't care how they see me, yeah. because I don't really care about them. Camilla, oh, I'm going to have an argument soon with her. She's nuts. What you doing all the way in here, boys? Eating. Isn't that obvious? Camilla, thank you for this tonight. <laughs> I think that's you 100%. Michael, which two housemates are in a relationship? I will say Gail and Anna. I actually have a young hippie mother who happens to be Karen. Then Michael felt the sting of instant nomination as the secret relationship was revealed. And as if that wasn't enough, Sunday night saw a double eviction that left the evictees inside the house in a revenge room. Forced and fake. Gee, I never thought of myself as that. Week. So what we're going to do right now is cross to the house and see if they're all still a bit dizzy. Film have you seen the film? No. Oh. Hello, house. Hello. 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 Hi, good me. Good day. And <laughs> what a night! <laughs> First noms, hey? Oh my God. Yes. And how are we all feeling about the first nomination night? Nervous. No idea what I'm doing. Apprehensive. <laughs> all right, you're all a bit nervous because of course we've got an eviction coming up. But what about the week you've had? What about finding about the mother and daughter? <laughs> now, <laughs> okay, is that gonna behave? Make anybody behave any differently? No, no. 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 The boys will be more careful. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Crystal, I think that may well be true, and Karen, that may be well, that may be true as well. In fact, I thought I heard a couple of the boys saying they were going to be more careful. Would they like to elaborate now or pretend it never happened? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm going to be careful. Uh, <laughs> are you now? Good on you. Okay, uh, yeah. now, and then you lost two people last night. I know, it sucks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> sad. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, sad. that's terrible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. sure. oh they're coming back. What? Conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> theory. Mark was a philosopher. Philosopher. Now, yeah, I'd use another word for it myself, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with this because you guys have all got business to do and of course it will affect one of your future forever actually the outcome of tonight so um ever. good luck to you all ever, ever. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Yeah. Okay clearly Michael is going to be gagged for the rest of the season It's like Marcel Marceau on speed he's like a he mimes and then he's got someone like a ventriloquist thing. It's so weird. I feel like I want to just pixelate him. <laughs> and yet I want him in the house. And I also want these girls in the house. Let's go to the revenge room right now and see how Camilla and Anna are coping. Hello, girls. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? <laughs> A little bit insane. A little bit going insane. It's very boring in here. Well, I don't know. There's so much to do. There's a couch. It's so much food. We've, We've been stuffing our faces all day. Really? Now, how do you feel you're going on the revenge arena? Do you think that you're actually fulfilling Big Brother's challenge? Definitely. You do? Yeah. Are you running out of things to do? Because you've got a whole other day to do it, haven't you? Oh, we have you look at my hair. What? It's grown? It. <laughs> no, and I plaited it. All of it, the whole lot, in tiny little braids. Because you ran out of things to do, or is that an act of revenge? <laughs> oh, act of revenge, no, I've got lots of ideas. Well, are you going to seek any revenge on Camilla? After all, she did yeah. nominate you. <laughs> you are. <laughs> well, it's an interesting thing to be going through. I wish you all the, all the best, because if you succeed, of course, you go back into the house. I Good know. luck. Thank you. Tricky, Thank tricky you. is what you've got to be. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> OK, the whole thing is completely weird. We are now going to start the nominations. Are you ready, Big Brother? Are we ready? 
Okay, first cab off the rank is, of course, Michael. What we have to remember with Michael is that because he failed to detect the relationship in the house, he is already nominated. Okay, that was his punishment. He is nominated. Okay, let's cross to Big Brother and, of course, Michael heading to the diary room. This is Big Brother. Michael to the diary room. Take From the city of God. You must. You love this. I'm gonna go last, but I don't know. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Michael. Big brother. As the insider, you failed your mission to discover Karen and Crystal's relationship. Your penalty is automatic nomination this week. You must not discuss or even allude to this with your housemates, but you may still nominate tonight. Michael, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I'm going to nominate Elise, um, and I have to look at it from the perspective of what personalities bring something interesting and entertaining to the house. And from my perspective, although she's a lovely girl, and I've got a lot of time... If she's for... a lovely girl? Yes. Why are you nominating her? Get on with it, Michael. Well, if you let me finish the sentence, I would get on with it. Michael. Yes. You're wasting time. OK. I'm nominating her because the lack of interesting... Um, the interesting conversations and entertainment that she brings to the Big Brother house. And I feel without her... If you took her personality out of the house, it would make... Um, there wouldn't be... They, they, you wouldn't find that the house would be any less interesting. What are you trying to say about her? Be precise. I'm saying that she is lacking personality. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, I'm nominating Ash for one point for um, eviction. And the reason I'm nominating Ash is similar reasons. Um, and I find that, it, it, once again, he's a lovely person, but the problem is... Michael. I find, yes. Big Brother's not interested in what you okay. like about your housemates. Fair You're enough. nominating them. OK. OK. Um, well, uh, the reason I'm nominating Ash is because I find that I, I can't have an, uh, an in-depth conversation with him. So a lack of personality in that respect as well. So I find that there is a lack of personality in him to be bummed. Is that his problem or is it yours? It depends on what perspective you're looking at it from, Big Brother. Yours. Explain it. Is it my, is it my problem? Of course it's my problem. In this house, if, I've, if I'm finding someone doesn't have a personality which I can go more in-depth to because in being in here, like hopefully for 12 weeks, if I can only have um, conversations that are only going to touch the surface of uh, topics, I find that that's not going to be interesting. So I want someone that's going to be in here that's going to provide me with a little bit more conversation or interesting conversation. Michael. Yes. Return to the lounge. Thanks, big brother. Oh, that big brother is a tough cookie, isn't he? Now, I should remind you also, remember, Karen and her daughter, Crystal, cannot be nominated tonight. Their prize for being undetected is that they are free of being nominated tonight and therefore are not up for eviction this Sunday. So we've got lots to remember. And after the break, three more housemates scrape their thumbnails down the nomination blackboard. Yeah. I will not let you put that on yourself. It's the same as suntan oil. No, it's not. That's yeah, like fat, fat, pure fat. What's she doing rubbing oil in the skin? That's really bad That for can't you. be good, can it? Nah. I've got like a reaction to something. I don't know if it was oil or something, but I've got all these little bites and things all over me and they're really itchy. You are aware canola oil was designed for cooking. Yeah, I'm aware. Nominations, where next up are our mother and daughter, Karen and Crystal, who will, in a, an interesting thing, take it in turns to nominate, week by week, all right? Now, this is to prevent them from causing a family voting block. Let's see who's actually doing the voting tonight. They both are. Crystal, Karen, 
You passed your challenge. You kept your relationship a secret. As a result, neither of you can be nominated this week. Big Brother has decided that while you are both in the house, only one of you will nominate each week. You have 10 seconds to decide who that will be tonight. Do you know? Okay, I reckon Mikey goes under the radar. Mm -hmm. um, he's not been himself. Crystal, Karen, mm -hmm. you cannot discuss your nomination. Oh, just one person decide. Oh, That's we've already started, so there you go. Karen, you will nominate. Crystal, return to the lounge. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Can we discuss that with anyone? No. no. Karen, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points for eviction, I will nominate Mikey. I don't think he's being himself. He's really playing the game. He's going under the radar most of the time. Um, definitely Mikey. What do you mean he's playing the game? He, um, he's just working, um, working everyone from all different angles, um, um, and he's just really going under the radar. How is he going under the radar? <sighs> okay, he's, um, trying to, um, um, distract um, attention from himself, um, trying to um, stir up conflict between other people. Um, That's not going under the radar. Oh God. Going under the radar is not being themselves to avoid attention. Okay. He's obviously gained your attention and you're running out of time. Okay. Um, I just don't, I don't think Mikey's being himself. You've known him for a week. What are you trying to say about him? Be honest. Um, he, his personality chops and changes. I don't know. What, what are you saying about him? I'm saying I don't like his personality. Um, it's um, irregular and I don't like it. Then you should say that. Okay. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, for one point for eviction, um, I nominate... Um, you have ten seconds. Galen. Um, just strategically, I nominate Galen. I think he would have a good chance of winning and I'd like to get rid of him now. Karen, the next time you come to nominations, be prepared. There will be penalties. That is all. OK, thank you. Kappa. Galen, to the diary room. Kappa. Yeah, Kappa. 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 You said his story. You said he got, someone gave him a cup of Yeah, he took him. Um, that's really dangerous. You can die. Karen? Galen, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, for two points, I nominate Elise, um, basically because I just think she's possibly flying under the radar. Um, she's quiet, she's not a big contributor, she doesn't get involved too much with anyone and it's just the kind of person I can see getting very unsuspectingly to the final few and for that reason, I don't want her here. Are you saying she's doing it deliberately? From what I can see, yes. Like I said, I don't see her putting heaps of effort into contributor like chores, even though they've been delegated, but even prior to being delegated, she wasn't, you know, putting in heaps, so, yeah. You've known her for a week. How do you know her personality? How do I know her personality? Um, like, I've spoken to her a few times, and just from what I've seen, I can see, I've heard, just, just, just what I think. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, for one point, I nominate Katie, um, just because she's been the biggest contributor to the fines. Um, these fines have taken a fair amount off our prize money. They've also resulted in half of our 
shopping budget, which is killing us enough as it is. Um, and also they've restricted us to many of our privileges around the house, on the pool and the sauna and spa and stuff like that. Have you confronted her about this? Uh, not yet, no. Because, Why not? Um, oh, I guess I don't really know. If it's important enough to nominate, shouldn't you confront her? Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll do it in the future. That is all. Well, pressure on. Let's cross back to the house to see if putting surfboard wax in his hair gives John a better grip as he rides the nomination wave. John, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points, I nominate Tilly. I don't feel comfortable with her yet. I um, find her when I talk to her that I just that she doesn't listen to me sometimes. I think that she can often come across as a bit fake. I think she tries to be too nice to everyone a lot and is really, really affectionate to everyone when I don't really think that she... Um, I think she sometimes I think that she's playing the game by doing that, by just trying to get, trying to be real nice to everyone, but I do, she does come across as a bit fake sometimes. I, um... I... How is she fake? You're saying she's nice to everyone. How do you know she's fake? Because, um... She's, she's nice to everyone and no one can really be nice to everyone. No one can have such, so much to say and so much to communicate with everyone and, and be so loving with everyone because the true meanings are that not everyone likes everyone in this house and um, I don't think she is, she's been nice to people that I think she actually dislikes. And I think that I may be one of them. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, for one point, I nominate Elise. I, I think that she is playing the game. She tends to go under the radar a lot. There's been, um, I mean, uh, since the two people have been evicted last night, I think there's been a big chance, been a lot, big chance for her to step up and show personality. Since they were two strong characters, but since they've gone, she's still been a relatively quiet figure, and, and um, I don't think she's come out of her shell as much as I thought she would have. And I think that she's playing it safe for the time being, as opposed to um, being 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 more outspoken and being more of a character. I think she's trying to go under the radar. Under the radar means doing it deliberately. How do you know she's doing it deliberately? Because since the two strong pet characters have left last night, I thought that she would have definitely had a chance and she's been telling me that she, she's gonna wait for to get more comfortable with the group until some of the stronger characters die down so that she can expose herself. She always tells me that she's a very um, loud, loud person and a very um, outgoing and witty sort of character outside of this Big Brother house and I haven't seen that in here. So I think that if she says that's what she's like and she's not doing it, then I think she's trying to go under the radar. Return to the lounge. Thank you. Well, he did very well. I think he's one of the youngest in the house. Articulate, made his point, he gathered his information. Gee, Elise is copying it. Let's have a look at the tally update. All right, now, as we know, Michael is already nominated. At the moment, Elise has five points, Tilly has two, Ashley has one, Galen has one, and Katie has one. But we have more people to nominate. After the break, we will hear those nominations as they are thrown into the nomination deep end. <laughs> Sibling. Jamie, it's a five thousand dollar fine. You only ever refer to Big Brother as Big Brother. Jamie, 
That's another five thousand dollar fine for talking while Big Brother was talking. Jamie, you're talking without your microphone. That's a five thousand dollar fine. Jamie, what? Katie, you're talking in bed without your microphones. It's a five thousand dollar fine each. You're talking without your microphones. That's a five thousand dollar fine each. Until today, when he was overtaken by Katie, Jamie had received the most fines. The total fines to date in the house are $205,000. Which means, according to Big Brother's accountant, that within just four more weeks, the $1 million will be consumed entirely by fines. And by the end of the series, the housemates will owe us $1,845,000, approximately. Hey, who's counting? Now, the point is, a lot of people could be angry with Jamie right now. But, like, you know, like, let's see, like, if he's, like, angry with, like, who? Like, you know? Jamie. Yes? Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, two points I'll give to Ashley. Um, he has taken over cooking for me at times and taken credit for it. He's inappropriate, farts around the girls, throw things at the girls that like, can cause injury. You're not nominating the girls. No, it's no, no. cop out. No, it's what I'm saying Jane, and I don't like Do it. not interrupt. You're nominating for you. Mm. Explain it. Um, he, you know, is inappropriate around me. He can stare at me, um, makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, has trouble having conversations with me, says odd things. Um, just makes me feel uncomfortable. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, one point to Mikey. Um, I find he's insincere. He pretends to like me, whereas I think he's being fake. Um, I don't trust him. How do you know he's being fake? Because I hear what he's talking, like, I can hear he's capable of being bitchy. Um, he says, like, on the first day, he said he really liked me. And you, you need to spend more time around someone to say you like them more than, like, probably about 10 hours before he said that to me. I spent about half an hour with him. That is all. Thank Return you. to the lounge. Thank you. Really hard. Yeah. Tilly, to the diary room. Go, Tilly. I told you. I, I had to stay away from the doors to shut. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh, commercial break. Oh. Full on. Before we started asking questions. Tilly, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I nominate Elise. Elise is a, a quiet and um, irritable personality which I can't relate to. Um, in this house, I need personalities that can bring out the best in me, and um, there is no way that she she can do that from what I have seen. Um, with this quiet personality, I feel like she's laying low um, just to be um, agreeable with everyone, and um, I don't need a person like that in the house. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction, and why? For one point, I nominate Michael. Um, Michael is a, has a very over-the-top personality and has, um, uh, has really irritated um, a lot of people in the house this week, including me. You're not nominating for a lot of people in the yes. house. Um, he has irritated me throughout the week, um, being very over-the-top with conspiracy theories, which are just um, too over-the-top and uh, not, not proper. In, in how he says it, and I feel like I'm always being judged by him, and um, and he can turn on he can turn on charm whenever he wants. Um, and, and again, trying to get the girl uh, me on his side, and to, for him to be agreeable with other people, and I just don't uh, see his side of things. Return to the lounge. Thank that you. is all. It is amazing. Big Brother is a very intimidating figure and these guys are coping really well. Jamie and then Tilly. Now it's time to cross back for Big Cat Handler Claire's turn to stop Big Brother biting her head off. Jamie! <laughs> oh, 
Claire, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I nominate Michael. Um, he's had, in the last week, a very over-analytical personality to both myself and also the rest of the team, um, which has resulted in myself having um, quite a negative experience in the last week because he did suspect me as being a potential mole in the house, playing a mole role, and um, it really makes me feel now around Michael I need to really watch what I say and what I do because I feel he's just going to over-evaluate everything that we do as individuals as well as the team as well because he's constantly thinking about possible things that are happening within the house. Claire, you're holding back. What are you trying to say about him? I'm trying to say that the trust between that I want to have with Michael, I can't establish a trust with him that I feel that I've, trust, that I've established with the other housemates because he's constantly coming to me and telling me things that he doesn't like and other people thinking of things that are happening within the house and I know because he's approached me about it in the week that he's also thought that way about me as well. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? For one point I nominate I forget his name. Um. Oh, sorry, big brother. Who do you nominate? I forget his name. Not John, spiky hair. If it's important enough for a nomination, you should remember his name. I'm so sorry. Um, I've totally just had the biggest blank ever. He's You're running out of time. He's from Western Australia, not Jamie, the other one. Are you able to help me? Ashley. Thank you, big brother. I nominate Ashley for one point. I do apologise because I just don't understand his personality whatsoever. I've tried numerous times to get to know him and he just constantly just has very random and spontaneous conversations. He's very... Yeah, random with his conversations and also I don't feel comfortable around him at all in the house. He's probably the only person that I don't feel comfortable getting changed around because I feel and other girls do feel it as well that he's constantly gawking and those sort of things. So, yeah, I'm yet to understand, Ashley. Accepted. Thank you, big brother. Next time, be ready. I'm so that sorry. Thank you, big brother. <laughs> Great recovery. Great recovery. <laughs> you know... I seriously thought we were going to have to resort to charades there. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at the tally board update. All right, now, of course, we know Michael is nominated. But underneath, Elise has seven, Ashley has four, Tilly has two, Galen one and Katie one. Now, we've only got five nominations to go. And don't forget, back again this year, the thrilling three-point twist, which tonight is in Galen's hands. John, Michael, Dino. Hey, you, brother. Um, just a quick chat to you about uh, Sauna, spa, spa. I think I'm John. John, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's with the names, big brother? Ashley, <laughs> Ashley. Ash. John, Ash. Ash. John Ash. Ashley, big brother. Big brother, can I introduce you to yeah. Ashley. Ashley? Ashley, would you like to meet big brother? How you doing, big brother? <laughs> And as for Big Brother, he's the one who's stickler for getting names right. He should be fined $5,000. Let's go now to the diary room to see if Ashley's reaction time is quicker when Big Brother asks him who he wants to nominate. Ashley, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points, I'd have to nominate Dino. The reason for this would have to be... He's a very sarcastic person and when he talks in every conversation we have, it makes me feel inferior to him. And therefore, that's why I give him two points. John, you're holding back. If you feel John. inferior, that's your problem. Okay. 
I feel that he doesn't want to hear my point of view in anything I say. Um, he like cuts me off uh, in a lot of conversations. It just, I don't, I don't really like his personality. Ashley. Yeah. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? One point for eviction, I'd have to nominate Elise. The reason for this is because I think she's holding back and she's not being her true character. And therefore, I think she's trying to skip evictions and nominations. What do you mean, not explaining yourself? OK. Well, Elise is a, she's a very quiet person and I haven't, I haven't really connected with her. I haven't seen the true Elise. If you haven't connected with her, that's your problem. It's not acceptable. You have 30 seconds. I feel she's just trying to skip evictions and nominations because she's not being her true self and being very quiet. And it's as if in the room you can't even notice her when everyone's there because she's not speaking up in anything we say. And You've known her for a week. How do you yeah. know it's not her personality? Because I think that she is a... I think she would be a, a bit louder than what she is. Ashley. Yes. You are not prepared. Next time you nominate, if you are unprepared, you will face a penalty. That is all. Return to the lounge. Uh, Katie, to the diary room. Oh, you just groped me. <laughs> Oh no, I've forgotten. Hi, big brother. Oh my god. Katie, who do you yeah. nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I nominate Michael because at the start I didn't really like him, like didn't get him at all, and I'm starting to get him more, but um, he's just too intense and I feel like I have to make conversation around him and that for my time in the house, I don't want to have to feel that pressure and I don't like that at all. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, one point I nominate Tilly because um, when I first got here, she ignored, like, I'd say something and she would just ignore me and that made me feel a bit mm, sad. And um, now, like, we're getting along now, but I think that's because it is nominations coming up and I think, like, like she'll turn around when the people leave and she'll say something about them and I just think that she might say something about me and I don't like that. How do you know? What are you trying to say about her? Um, like she could be, I, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm not with her all the time, but to me it seems a little bit fake because like, I mean, straight away when they turn around, she'll roll her eyes and go, and I just, I don't like that at all. Return to a lounge, that no, is all. No worries, see ya. Big Brother appeared to accept a facial expression then as an explanation. Did you hear that when Ashley was nominating, he referred to him as John? <laughs> Let's go back to the nominations nest now to see what nomination egg Elise will lay. Elise. Who do you yeah. nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, two points, I nominate Claire. Um, I think she's a really intelligent girl and I think she's really playing the game um, strategically. Um, I guess I felt a little bit hurt when she um, kind of offended me really early, but now she's kind of, I think she's playing the game and um, has sort of just is not really interested in friendship. So um, I guess I'm just not sure how genuine she is, I guess. At least you're not being clear. What are you trying to say about her? You need to be honest. Um, I'm not sure whether she's as genuine as she comes across. If you're not sure, why are you nominating her? Because I suspect that she's not. Why? Um, uh, don't. Um, I guess she just always says the right things at the right time and I guess um, I think that, sound, that seems um, 
for anyone not to have any flaws, I think that that may not be that real person. You've known her for a week mm. and you're nominating her for saying the right things. Yes, um, I think she, um, or she observes the group really closely and looks at each person and finds out, um, you know, how to sort of befriend them, um, but not in a genuine way. Um, that's, that's just the feeling that I get, um, just because of the way that she's dealt with me and um, I was a bit hurt that, you know, she, we were You're running getting, out of time. We were getting close at the beginning and now I don't, I think she's kind of moved on to um, other people in the group and that's hurt me. Who do you nominate for one point for addiction and why? Um, one point I nominate Tilly. Um, she's a extremely sort of loud and dominant type person and I feel intimidated by that. Um, I think that if she left I would have more room to um, you know come across um, and voice my opinions a bit more. Return to the lounge that is Thank all. You. Okay I didn't quite understand that last one did you understand that last one? Big Brother did that's what counts Tilly got the points. Now, eight people have all received points. Now, let's have a look at the tally board, see how we're going. All right, Michael, as we know, is at the top. And then Elise, eight points. That's a lot. Ashley, four, same as Tilly, on four. Then Claire on two, and Dino on two. And then a new tally board, Galen on one, and Katie on one. All right, now. The nomination soup is nearly ready to serve. Just two more housemates' ingredients to go, and then the mind-blowing three-point twist. Yeah! I don't think I'll be nominated straight away because I can cook and I've got reasonable hygiene. I won't be nominated because people like me. I'd be nominated because I'm the kind of guy that'll go all the way. I don't reckon I'll be nominated because I think I will be nominated a snort. I won't be nominated because I can cater to everyone's needs. I probably won't last past the first week because I'll do something stupid and get kicked out. I won't be nominated because everybody will make friends with me. I won't be nominated because I'm a nice girl. were both nominated and evicted by their fellow housemates last night but they haven't left the house and they're currently in a secret revenge room. If they succeed with their revenge they'll be returned to the house and safe from the first eviction. But next to ride the nomination bull is the man who starred last week. That brought many a person to tears. Let's see what happens in the diary room. It's David. We're going to see if he grabs the nomination bull by its horns. David, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I nominate Michael uh, because I believe too many times throughout the day he's non-genuine and acts up just simply for the cameras and uh, is not really concerning himself with what's going on around him, just trying to make himself as big a character as possible and I mean at, at times it frustrates me to the point that he, he acts up like a, like a jolly cockatoo in a storm and uh, it, it, it makes me really, really uncomfortable uh, that, that he's so flamboyant at times and then yet at, at other times I can see that he's actually being genuine, which is the times that I do enjoy and, uh, and like to talk to him, but then suddenly he's this big, annoying person that, that, uh, that yeah, just absolutely frustrates the hell out of me. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, for one point I nominate Crystal. Uh, she came into the house with an alternate persona and, uh, and did a brilliant job of it and uh, I believe that she is still uh, is being non-genuine and not herself at all and she's, she's practically said so because she's continuing uh, wearing makeup that she doesn't normally wear and clothes that she doesn't normally wear and I believe that um, she's definitely acting in a way that she normally wouldn't to, uh, to deceive other housemates to, uh, to prolong her stay. Return to the lounge. That is all. 
Dino to the diary room. Dino the diary room. Dino. Dino, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points, uh, Elise. Elise he has been, for the last week, under the radar, but since Camilla and Anna have gone, she's, uh, she's becoming more active in the group, but she's just picking her timing really badly. Like, I just really feel uncomfortable and it just makes me look bad when I'm telling a story to someone and I'm having a joke with someone and she just always manages to come in at the end of the story, at the end of the, end of the joke, saying, what happened, what's the joke, or what's this? And I, I'm not going to be rude and not explain it to her, but I look, like the, I look like an idiot when I repeat the story to everyone else. And I just, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. And when what do you mean it makes you feel uncomfortable? You're holding back. What are you trying to say about her? I'm trying to say that she just... I can't relate to her personality. I you can't relate to her. That's your problem. What are you saying about her personality? I'm saying she just picks the wrong time. She's annoying. She comes in and, and at the wrong time says, you know, what, what's this joke? Or I have to explain everything to her again in front of everyone else. And she just ruins the moment. It's annoying. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? One point, I nominate Michael. Um, he makes me and other people uncomfortable. And it's really, really annoying, his um, theories about everything happening in here. My time in the Big Brother house, I, I intended to have as, I just want to enjoy this and not have to worry about, stress about things that are happening to us, what you're doing to us. And every moment that I spend around Michael seems to be rotating about who do you think is a couple, who do you think is that? And he makes me paranoid about the other people that are around me. And that, that's annoying, it's really frustrating especially when I, as a result of that, accused Jamie of being um, a mole and Jamie wasn't too happy with me for that, so that's it. Dino, yes. you're not properly prepared. The next time you come to nominate, be prepared or face a penalty. Return to the lounge. That is all. OK, well, Dino only just scraped through David wore an interesting outfit into the diary room there. <laughs> Threw me off for a minute. <laughs> but then I was thrown back on because, sadly, David wasted a vote. He nominated Crystal. Crystal and her mum, Karen, are not up for nomination this week, and all the housemates know that. And Dino, of course, just nominated Elise. Elise was in tears, remember, during the week, saying that she couldn't be herself and she felt awkward, and now she's got a lot of votes with people saying she's not being herself. Let's have a look at the final tally board. Well, the final tally board before the magical twist. Michael, as we know, everybody say together, is nominated. Thanks for joining in with me there, audience. <laughs> OK, and then Elise is on 10. Ashley 4, Tilly 4, Claire 2, Dino 2. Turn the page, Galen 1 and Katie 1. So, of course, some of our housemates have not received a point at all. That is how it looks before Galen applies his magical twist, which allows him to remove three points from any nominee's tally. Now, who will be saved? Maybe no one. Who knows? Who will he condemn? Nobody knows. It will be eviction week coming up. All will be revealed very soon. But first, let's cross to the house for the first of Big Brother's nomination announcements. This oh, is Big Brother. <laughs> the housemates up for eviction are uh, Elise, Ashley, Tilly. What? That is all. What? Whoa, that took them all by surprise. It's horrible being nominated in the first week. It is everybody's nightmare. At the moment, we know Michael, Elise, Ashley, and Tilly are up for eviction. Is that correct? I thought Big Brother... Oh, yes, we do know that. But that may very well change when Galen has done some twisting and that'll happen right after the break. As winner, 
On tonight's games, you have won access to the rewards room. Yes. Who do you wish to invite and why? For her gallant effort coming second place, Katie. Bye, guys. We didn't say bye. Disco. Oh, my God. I choose three. Bow tie. Are you <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> where we saw Galen perform as both a winner and a loser. Welcome back. You're watching live nominations. Now, for the more astute of you in the audience, you will notice that I said four people were nominated and Big Brother, in announcing the nominees to the house, left out Michael's name. Why, you may ask? That's what I asked in the ad break. We had a huge argument. <laughs> and the result is... Big Brother's fight. No, the result is that we couldn't tell the house that Michael has been nominated because he's fixedly nominated. So Galen cannot even attempt to remove points from him. So what we're sneakily going to do is pretend that the points removal allowed Michael to sneak up. We cannot reveal the history of Michael being an insider, you see? That's how clever we are. <laughs> In retrospect. OK, let's cross now to the house for the twist. This is Big Brother. Galen, to the diary room. But your chance to win it. Oh, yeah. Galen, big brother. As the winner of Friday Night Games, you are awarded four prizes. It is now time to exercise the most important prize the power to affect who is up for eviction this week. Your decision could very well change the shape of the house. Yeah. Who leaves and who stays. You'll do this by deducting three nomination points from one of the nominees, either Elise, Ashley or Tilly. As a result of your decision, one of these housemates may no longer be up for eviction, but another may take their place. Galen, who do you choose to deduct three points from and potentially save, and why? Elise, Ashley, or Tilly? Um, I choose to deduct three points from Ashley. Um, I've just sort of been pretty close to him over the last two weeks, for a week and a bit. Um, we sort of bonded pretty together, become pretty good mates, and um, I'd like to give him the points and possibly save him, give him another go. Galen, return to the lounge and say nothing of this to your housemates. Yeah. OK, so there we have it. We have a very interesting scenario. I'm looking down at a new secret computer that's on the ground because the other one is crashed just above it. So we can now see that Ashley, the three points, has removed him from the selection and it has pushed whom up and into the action? Mike. Pardon? Mike. Michael. No. Wrong. <laughs> Who was it ever? Come on, someone tell me, someone tell me. Dino. Dino. Claire. I'd now like to tell you that I run the entire show by myself and all the voices in my head are imaginary. Thanks, Truck. Thanks for your help. All right, let's see Big Brother's final nominations announcement. OK, let's have a look. No, no, Tyler, no, Big Brother. You've got to duck. So you go, what if I had to duck? <laughs> and knock That's myself off there. dude. Why'd you do that? Yeah. This Sorry. is really hurt my is Big Brother. That's true. Elise. Ashley, Tilly, Galen has just exercised the most important part of his prizes for winning the Friday Night Games. He has deducted three nomination points from one of you. As a result, the nominations have changed. <gasps> the housemates who will face the first public vote for eviction are... Elise. Tilly.
player. <gasps> Dino. What? So, didn't I tell you four? And <gasps> Michael. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is all. Come on. Oh, no. I'm still in a piss though. Oh, I'm still in a piss though. I'm still in a piss though. I don't think I want to win now. Yeah, the odds crazy. are just stacked up. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, what did that just run off? Oh. Three points. I don't yeah. want him. No. That's how close it was. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I'm not going anywhere now. The whole dynamic. Yeah, I'm going to care. It's fine. Do you know what I think? It's a good thing. Yeah, they can do that. Yeah. And they make your meat out of the mouth. And they get it. What's Jamie right now? That's how you want it. You're too nice. I don't want to see. You're too nice. I don't actually care. That's a ball went into it though. Is there a tie with five? Because they all tied. They must have all tied. Hang on. So he took the nominations off Ash. Oh, so they're full of all the money. That's what I mean. So it's now time to tell you how you have even more power over who stays and who leaves the Big Brother house. Not only can you evict the housemate you want to see leave the house, you can now, for the first time ever, vote for your favourite housemate to stay in the house. Yes, you can vote to evict or to save. Now, this will require 100% uh, concentration. That was ironic. OK, <laughs> are we ready? To evict Michael, text Michael to 199-EVICT. Or to save Michael, text Michael to 199 to save. Or you can call 1902 5555 at 64 and follow the prompts. This is going magnificently. All right. To evict Dino, text Dino to 199 evict. Are we cottoning on? Or to save Dino, text Dino 199 to save. Or call 1902 55 55 65 and follow the prompts. To evict Elise, text Elise to 199 evict. Or to save Elise, text Elise 199 to save. Or call 1902 55 55 68 and follow the prompts. To evict Tilly, text Tilly to 199 evict. Or to save Tilly, text Tilly 199 to save. Or call 1902 55 55 69 and follow the prompts. To evict Claire, text Claire to 199 evict. Or to save Claire, text Claire 199 to save. Or call 1902 55 55 74 and follow the prompts. Calls cost 55 cents, mobiles may be higher. I think I've completely grasped that concept. Everybody memorised it? OK. <laughs> Start voting, unless your hand's too exhausted from writing the numbers down. And now, you must get on to it. You've got to vote for the housemate you want to evict and the housemate you want to save. I'll see you at 9.40 tonight for a very special Big Brother, during which I'll be lying flat on the floor and sobbing. It's called Unforgettable. <laughs> and in a special at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, I will also see you when the evicted housemates, Anna and Camilla, go back into the house. I'm Gretel Colleen, and this is Big Brother, where the power is in your hands. Coming up now on 10, a new supernatural event with an awesome twist. Why the hell is this happening to me? Their mission is to hunt evil, but this time is the evil within. New Supernatural starts now. For your chance to win $1,000 every day, head into KFC and get your favourite Twisted Toasted, then enter your unique code via SMS or online to win. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.